All right, now let's get up here closer to the main display of the plugin. Uh, up here we have various envelopes that we can manipulate. Uh, let's start by talking about the one that pops up in the very beginning when you open this up, the volume envelope. Your volume envelope is going to have a few different parameters, uh, starting with the initial level. Uh, that's at what volume your IR file actually starts at. So if you lower it down, we've actually started it now at 0%. So it's gonna to have to work its way up to max volume. Your max volume is gonna be where your attack is, okay? So as I move this, it's pushing back the amount of time it takes to get to max volume. Okay, so right now it's taking about a second to get there. Our decay is how long it takes after we reach max volume to go back down to our end level, which right now is set at 0%. All right, so you can see as I move this, it's actually taking a lot less time to go back down to zero. These two buttons here, linear and exponential, are going to change how you decay down to zero again. Linear is gonna be a lot more artificial sounding uh, because that's usually not how things work in a realistic room. Your reverb volume is not just going to decay to zero at a one-to-one -one rate. That's why if you want a realistic sound, you would choose exponential because that volume is going to slowly taper off and then a very steep decline down to zero at the end of the curve. Let's mess around with some of these and see how it affects our reverb. All right, so a lot of this is fine tuning at this point, uh, but if the IR file itself, uh, as it comes, isn't to your liking, you can really sculpt into it with these parameters and create the exact kind of space that you want. 